What are clear nursery pots? They're just so much fun. Look at that. Love using clear pots for propagating. This is a clear nursery pot. Reason number one, level up your nursery pot game. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and you are watching Growing Green. I live in Auckland, New Zealand and I run my own small house plant business right here from my greenhouse. If you wanted to check me out, make sure to go to my website www.growinggreen.nz down here and check me out. We do unfortunately only ship within New Zealand, but if you are from overseas and you still want to follow us anyway, make sure to go to our Facebook and our Instagram pages and you can follow us there and see all the behind the scenes daily activities of uh, my business. Make sure to go and check out the rest of my channel down below and also hit the like button and maybe even subscribe. Great. Today's video is all about clear nursery pots and why you should be using them for your houseplants. Trust me, you will never go back to normal black pots, I promise. So first of all, what are clear nursery pots? First of all, what is a nursery pot? A nursery pot is normally the pot that the plant comes in when you buy it from a store. Simple as that. This black hanging pot that my string of turtles in, this is a nursery pot. They come in all different shapes and sizes. They come as hanging, they come as normal pots. Basically just the plain boring black pots that you get your plants in from the house plant shop. That's what a nursery pot is. I am here to help you level up your nursery pot game, especially if you're a propagator like myself. Whew, these pots are gonna change your life, I promise. Let's just take a moment for this beautiful plant, by the way. Ah. She's so stunning. Love her. So clear nursery pots are traditionally used for orchids. In the past couple of years, clear nursery pots for houseplants have just like skyrocketed, taken off. It's become a trend, it's become a thing, and I think it's a trend that's gonna stick around for a very, very long time. So I'm gonna show you our complete range of clear nursery pots in a minute, but um, there you go. This is a clear nursery pot. They're also called cash pots. These clear pots are life changes. So like I said, they do come in a complete range of different sizes. I know there are some different sizes out there to what I have. So we have the six centimeter clear pot. We have the seven centimeter clear pot. We have the nine centimeter clear pot. We have the 10 centimeter clear pot, a 12 centimeter clear pot, a 15 centimeter clear pot, a 17 centimeter clear pot, and the jumbo 20 centimeter clear pot. So as you can see, there is quite a size difference in our range. If you're from New Zealand, make sure to go check out our website. Website. Why should you start using clear pots for your houseplant collection? Well, there are so many different reasons that you should be using them and I'm about to show you exactly why. Just to completely summarize it for you before I get into like all the nitty gritties about them, they are just pretty much the best way to ensure the health of your houseplants. I promise you that when you use clear pot, your houseplants will become healthier and happier all because you're able to take care of them much better than the normal black pots. And not only are they good for your house plants that you have in your house or your greenhouse, they're also fantastic for propagating, which I will also go into a little bit later on. So the first reason that you should be using clear pots with your house plants is for watering. First of all, I'm just gonna show you the root system of this bad gal. Look at that. Oh, that is so awesome. I can't believe that. So a lot of the time when you use the normal black cash pots, it's really, really hard to tell whether your plant needs watering or not. Because, I mean, if you can see with this one, it, the top is quite dry, but if you stick your finger in there, it's actually still very wet underneath there, under the soil level here. And you would not be able to tell unless they're in a clear pot. So as you can see with this one, the top under there is actually very dry. But if I bring this closer to the camera, you can actually see that there's still a little bit of moisture in there, which which means it does not need watering at all. Another good thing about clear pots and watering them is you can actually tell when you've watered your plant the entire way through. I can make a complete different video about watering just on its own, but normally when you water house plants, you water them all the way through, you absolutely soak them. Because if you just kind of wet the top layer, then all the roots at the bottom don't actually get anything. You're not really watering them. With the clear pots, you can actually see when you've completely soaked the plant the entire way through and when it needs rewatering again because it's really dry. So. Yeah, that's reason number one. Reason number two that clear pots are a really good idea is because it just helps you keep an eye on the general health of your plants. Normally with this black cash pots, you can't see what's going on below the soil. So whether your plant has root rot, whether it might have root mealy, you will not be able to tell until it's too late for your plant. And that is exactly why clear pots are fantastic for that because you can catch them before they really become a problem. Reason number three, they're just so much fun. I love coming into the greenhouse every day, every week, every waking minute of my life and have a look at the root 
ecosystem of my plants and just see how much bigger they've gotten especially when you have like brand new cuttings and you put them in you're like oh look here comes the root and you can see it slowly creep across the pot and of course the normal way to use clear pots is with orchids all orchids that you buy in your shops or at least in New Zealand will come in a clear nursery pot that's because their roots like to photosynthesize now orchids are the only ones that like to do this I will get into cautions in a minute as you can see obviously you can see all the roots through there and a lot of clear pots have very good drainage at the bottom as you can see look at this one the drainage is fantastic and that is because of orchids the first and the original reason for clear pots because orchids in the wild are epiphytes which means they grab onto other things to live off like other trees and bark and stuff like that so clear pots help those roots photosynthesize another situation that is fantastic to use clear pots for is propagation let me go grab some of mine and i'll show you what i'm talking about i honestly wouldn't propagate in any other pot now other than a clear pot because of this reason and this reason alone look at that look at those awesome roots so i propagate mine in clear pots and fern private and a heat mat if you want to see a video all about that make sure to hit the like button down below and let me know in the comments i love using clear pots for propagating because it makes it so much easier to see the progress of your propagations if you propagated them in a black pot you know and it's it does take a couple of weeks for them to get like a decent root system. With clear pots, at least you can have fun and watch them along the way. Another reason it's good to use clear pots for your propagations is because when you want to see the root system, obviously like I just said with the black pots, you can't really see what's going on. So you have to keep tipping them out, having a look, putting them back. By using clear pots with your propagating, you don't have to do that. You don't have to disturb them at all and you'll be able to see when they're fully rooted and good to go. So. Now I'm also going to give you a couple of cautions if you are going to decide to use clear pots for your houseplants because obviously there are downsides to using clear pots for your normal houseplants. First of all, a lot of normal houseplants do not like light on their roots. A little bit of light is okay. For example, in this greenhouse, there's a lot of diffused light. It never gets direct light, so I can just leave them out like this and they're perfectly happy. However, if they're in your house and they are getting a lot of light, I would definitely recommend that you use some kind of cover pot because you think about it, most plants in the wild grow in soil, which is dark and warm. And if you give them too much light, the roots can get fried because they're very sensitive and then it's, it's just not a good time. Another thing that can occur when you're using clear pots is algae buildup. So I'll bring this a little bit closer for you in a second. It's not really harmful to your plants. Most algae isn't. You can see this plant is happy and thriving and is chucking out a new leaf and all the roots are fine. It just looks a little bit unsightly. That's all. There you go. Can you see that? Yeah, that's a little bit gross. But I mean, as you can see, the root down the bottom is growing perfectly fine. But yeah, just a simple trick to solve this. Put it in a cover pot. That's it, problem solved. I just wanted to show you a few plants that I have in clear pots for myself. Obviously you've seen a few through this video, but I just wanted to show you a few of my larger ones as well. So this gal, I love this gal. She's only been potted up for a short while, but um, <laughs> she is loving her clear pot. I don't think you can actually see any roots at the moment. I can't lift her up too high, otherwise I'm going to smash <laughs> the plants above me obviously um these guys don't like a lot of light so i put it in a more sheltered spot in the greenhouse but look at that she's popped me out a new leaf so she is absolutely loving her clear pot another thing i kind of want to mash in with this whole clear pot video is clear growing poles let me show you what i'm talking about so as you can see my philodendron campus porto lanum is in a 17 centimeter clear pot but it is also on a clear vertical grow pole. We also sell these on our website, by the way, www.growinggreen.nz, go check it out. But the good thing about these is when you turn them around, you can actually see the soil in there. And when the plants grow up them, you'll be able to see the roots growing through the back. Ta-da, there you go. Can you see the root growing through there? Yeah, nice. You can actually see here where the roots have gone into the pole there. And on the other side and it will continue to do that all the way up the grow pole so not only is using clear pots a great idea using clear grow poles are also a fantastic idea so yeah that is all of the reasons why i love using clear nursery pots for my house plants i hope you found this video helpful and i hope i've convinced you to give them a go if you've never tried them now is your time to pick a couple up and give them a go if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button down below it really helps out my channel a lot and lets me know what kind of content you guys like 
like to see. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. If you haven't already, make sure to go to my channel down below and check out all the rest of our videos. We have vlog style videos and we have a whole lot more informative content to hopefully help your houseplants reach their full potential. If you are in New Zealand, make sure to go and check out our website www.growinggreen.nz where you will find everything that your houseplants need, not just to survive but to thrive. And that is all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!